Canada is one of the greatest country in the world. This is where people are nice and polite, where hockey, Tim's, poutine, and maple syrup are famous, and Canada is also unique in its own way. Please join me today as I discuss the 10 reasons why you need to move to Canada right now. Hi everybody! Hi guys! Hi guys! This is Luke. Say hi! It's my son hi. Luke. He wanted to say hi to everyone. But first of all, I want to say thank you for the never-ending support to our channel, our Maple Life Stories, and to our new viewers. We are our Maple Life Stories, bringing you stories of our Canadian life and hoping to help others who wanted to go to Canada through our vlogs. Please continue to support our channel by liking, sharing, watching, and most of all, subscribing to our Maple Life Stories. But just to make it clear, we are not immigration consultants and we do not process any papers for immigration purposes to Canada. We are just here to share our experience as caregivers and share our knowledge about Canadian life. So here are the 10 reasons why you need to move to Canada right now. Number one is that Canada needs you. This 2020, Canada's population is 37 million. And unlike other countries, Canada is underpopulated. So they need more people, more immigrants, and more workers. The more people there is means more economic growth and prosperity of the country. Number two, the free healthcare. This is one of the greatest thing if you live in this country, the free healthcare. Although it's not totally free because it comes from the taxpayer's money, but still you don't have to worry if you have a doctor's consultation, if you have a surgery, or if you are hospitalized, you don't have to worry about your bills because it is totally covered by the health insurance. You just need to apply for your uh, health card and whenever you wanted to see a doctor, you just show them your card and you're good to go. And also, if you are under 25, your prescription is covered by the health insurance. So that's one of the greatest thing here, free healthcare access. Number three is the free education. Yes, you heard it right, free education. And this is such a great perk if you are a Canadian permanent resident or a Canadian citizen because your children can avail the free education from kindergarten until high school. So you don't have to worry about their school bills or tuition. You just have to enroll them in the school that you prefer, either public or Catholic or anywhere. Then they're good to go. You don't have to worry about the tuition fees and also this is really great for parents like me because we will have enough time to prepare for our uh, children's college education number four low crime rate canada is one of the top 10 safest country in the world to live in and the country's crime rate is low compared to other nations that is why it is safe to live here but um, low crime rate does not mean no crime in Canada. There are still crimes being committed, but compared to the other first world country, Canada still has considerably low crime rate. There's not much violence in the neighborhood, and the neighborhood are peaceful. You can walk on the streets at night without worrying if someone will hurt you. So it's really safe in Canada. Number five. Robust economy. Canadian economy is one of the strongest among the G7 nations. It is diverse as well in the sense that it doesn't depend on only one industry. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, Canada is one of the few nations who provide uh, financial aid to its people 
through the Serb or the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, wherein the people who lost their job because of COVID-19 or cannot go to work because for the reasons of um, COVID-19 will receive $2,000 monthly for four months initially, but then it was extended to up to two months. So here in Ontario, there is a lot of job. If you are not picky, there is always available work for you. Number seven, you can bring your family in Canada. If you are immigrating or as a permanent resident and you have dependents like your spouse and children, you can bring them over here with you and start your family life. That's uh, one of the benefits in immigrating here in Canada. And one of the main reasons why overseas Filipino workers goes out of the country is to seek for better future and here you can do that together as one family. So unlike other country, if you apply for a permanent resident, if you have a spouse and children, they won't be automatically permanent resident as well. But in Canada, it is different. Canada is more family friendly and they like reuniting the whole family together in their country. And number eight is multiculturalism. Prior to coming here, both of us worked in Singapore for two years. Me and Kevin worked there in Singapore and we actually met in Singapore as well. And it is considered as multi multiculturalism country. But when we came here, we are surprised because there is a lot of nationalities living here and they don't care, people don't care. We actually never um, experienced any racism here ever since we came over to Canada. People just get along with each other, people are nice to each other and polite. And it's, it's good because um, you will feel at home and you will feel at peace and you will feel uh, just grateful that you are here because people are respectful and nice to each other. And also the benefit of multicultural and the benefit of the multiculturalism is that there is a variety of foods of from different from different nationalities that you can enjoy um, like for example if I wanted to eat some Filipino food I can just go to the other town to buy or if I wanted to eat some Indian food, there are stores right just down the corner, like two blocks from our house, so there's no problem. That's the beauty of having different nationality in the country. Number nine, abundant natural resources. Canada is an enormous country, bigger than the US and EU, and only second to Russia when it comes to land mass area and actually nobody has ever lived in 80 percent of canada the country's land remains mostly unexplored and that leaves us with plenty of opportunities number 10 last but not the least people are polite canadians tend to say sorry a lot and i think it has become an expression for them and uh, i remember one time I was in the grocery store and I need 20 cents so that I can get the cart and I don't have one. Uh, one lady went to me and just gave me her 20 cents so that I can, I will proceed to my grocery shopping. And she told me not to worry about it. So yeah, that's one of the experience that I, I cannot forget that they are also helpful and then they are so polite to everybody. So. Yeah, Canadians are usually nice, not usually, Canadians are really nice and polite. So that's it for my 10 reasons why you need to move to Canada right now. So my advice for you is to just persevere, don't lose hope, someday you will achieve your Canadian dream. And it will take time, but be patient and have faith so someday maybe we will see you and meet you here in canada thank you again for uh, watching me watching with me for learning with me about canada 
till our next vlog. Thank you so much!